Well, good morning, everybody, and Merry Christmas. Renee here for the Christmas Morning Daily Video Devo. You know, I've been thinking a lot this week about how unusual it was that Jesus was born in a manger, in a, in a feeding trough for animals. We're so used to it that we miss the contrast when the angels proclaim in Luke 2.11 to the shepherds, today in the town of David, a savior has been born, the Messiah, the Lord, and this will be a sign. And the shepherds were probably thinking, what's gonna be the sign? Some kind of a huge army with waving banners, all these trumpeters blowing horns. And the angel says, this will be a sign. You'll find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger, in a feeding trough. He purposely, the God of the universe, came down into something so lowly. Roman culture was all about being powerful and being impressive. And then God sends his son to be born in a feeding trough. Have you ever wondered why he chose to do that? Well, there's an old preacher named Charles Spurgeon who wrote, you know, we might tremble to approach a throne but we cannot fear to approach a manger. Accept him as your savior, for he puts himself into the manger that you might approach him. The throne of Solomon might awe you, but the manger of the son of David invites you. Another Christian writer, Jen Hatmaker said, this is our Jesus. You cannot be too low or too broken, or too humble, or too confused for him. He is no palace savior to be feared, but a manger savior to be treasured. You know, I really hope you have a quiet moment today to think of your savior in that manger and approach him and simply say, thank you. Thanks for joining me. Merry Christmas.